Hi there, my name is Stijn Niesen. I'm the director of the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic and head of medicine at the Royal Veterinary College. We've been getting a lot of questions about the blood glucose curve. Uh, which is a trick we use in uh, managing diabetic pets to figure out uh, how well they are doing and to figure out how much insulin to give. Uh, but it might be good to go back to basics and explain a little bit about what we actually mean with the blood glucose curve. So when a pet becomes diabetic, we need to figure out how to take over the lost function of the pancreas. The pancreas is the organ that normally makes the insulin and that is not happening anymore in our diabetic pet. So we're going to give the pet insulin, usually twice daily, but we vets need to figure out what the dose is for the particular pet that is presented to us. So what we do is we get the pet in or we can have this done at home, if an owner can do blood glucose measurements at home, and we take a series of blood glucose measurements. And, and basically, if we start here, uh, we will start to create a line of what the glucose does during the day. And the more points we get during that day, so we could do that every two hours, every three hours, the more information we have about what the glucose does in this particular animal. And what we ideally want is for the glucose to go down as a consequence of us injecting insulin because diabetes is the disease where we get the glucose to become too high. But on the other hand, we don't want it to go too low either because low blood glucose can cause quite dangerous situations. So what we vets are looking for is a glucose curve that consists of reasonably low values that are not dangerous but that also allow the pet to have a happy lifestyle, okay? So that's the blood glucose curve. Like I mentioned before, we can do that in the hospital, but if an owner can do home blood glucose monitoring, as in they can take glucose measurements of the blood at home, that would be even better. Because during this generation of the curve, we want to mimic as much as possible the home routine. And that happens way better in the home situation rather than in the clinic, of course. So the cat or the dog with diabetes can go on to do its own routine during the day. But at times, the owner will get the cat or dog out, get a blood glucose measurement done and figure out how well the cat or dog is doing. So that's the basics of the blood glucose curve. I hope that made sense. We've got some nice videos on the website as well of how to actually get a sample to do blood glucose measurements, usually with one of these gadgets. Um, tune in next time and we'll try to explain a bit more about the management of diabetic pets as well. Thank you.